<laughs> hey guys, it's me, Dave, and welcome back to week 21 of Building Mandalore. <laughs> guys, it is 2020. Happy New Year's. Holy cow, I can't believe it's already a new year. We have been building Mandalore for just over six months now. We started around, what was it, July or August of 20. 19 and now we're going into January 2020 like oh man, but I gotta say Mandalore is probably one of the biggest mocks for sure It's pretty much at the level of crate coming close to Kashyyyk and it's very crazy that I've been able to build this much in six months So I'm I know six months is still a long time But comparing to previous mocks Kashyyyk took two years crate took over a year six months is a big improvement So we're doing good but guys, because it's January 2020, we are so close from Star Wars to Clone Wars Season 7 coming out next month in February of 2020. It's so weird that we're already in the new year. I think when I hear 2020, I think, oh man, we're still in, you know, 2019. But no, we're, we're in 2020. We're a month away now. So I haven't gotten a specific date. I'm really excited. I really just want to see the show at this point because the Siege of Mandalore, when that show, when those episodes of Star Wars Clone Wars come out, they will possibly change the direction of the mock. Obviously, I'm not going to tear anything apart on the exterior wise, but interior wise, I will definitely probably be making some changes depending on what where the show goes and what happens in those episodes. So really excited. Um, and guys, today we're basically going to be focusing on the symmetry of the mock. Basically, all that means is that we're going to get that other window completed. Last week, we skipped over the window and went for the balcony. Now we're going to get that other window finally completed and we're going to have basically perfect symmetry because the mock will basically look done on the exterior side. So though, can't wait for you guys to see that. I'm going to stop talking. We'll go ahead and jump into the segment right now, guys. All right, guys, so we're jumping right back into Mandalore. This week, we are going to replicate that window. We're going to get this whole back part right here. We're going to get this all squared off, and it's going to look so good. Um, so hopefully, if I have the time, I also really want to actually cover up these two areas with the panels. I'm not sure if we'll have time for that or not. We'll just have to wait and see. But uh, the main goal is to get another one of these windows made over here and then to fill in all of this area and get it all 100% connected. You can also see that it has been a week since week 20 now and uh, the wall is up just fine, hasn't been bending or anything like that. I was a little concerned about uh, whether this uh, main balcony would actually you know, bend or would just the weight would be too much, but so far it's looking really good. So it looks like something we don't have to worry about some. Really thankful for that, um, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, build this second window, guys. Let's see what that looks like right now. And there it is, guys, the second window. Whew, looks so good now. Absolutely love that we have perfect symmetry on each side now. This was a, this side was actually a little complex. Um, it was a little, I don't know, I had built this differently over here than I did over here and I was having some issues. Um, it took about, I wanna say like four hours. Um, I'm sorry I didn't do a time lapse of the second window. Um, like I said, it was just, I was having some issues with building it on this side, but overall it came out looking really good. Absolutely love the way it looks now. But we're not done yet, guys. We still have this top portion right here. We're gonna. Uh, make it all one line, all to the same height today. But first, I need to actually install these floors. These things have been empty for quite a while now, and I think it's finally time that I put those panels in to finish up that area so that way we can finally uh, put an end to this whole area. And next week, we'll actually start working on the interior side of things. So let's go ahead and finish it out and see what it looks like, guys. And there we go, guys. I finally have the area in front of those panels finally covered on both ends. It looks so much better now. Absolutely love how that looks. Um, so it was actually quite a pain to get these panels in and, and get there were some gap issues between the panels and all of that. But I finally got it all fixed. Now, you might notice I have not put that top part where I've connected all of the you know, the windows and everything. So it'll all be on the same level as that right there. Haven't done that yet. So a couple reasons. First off, I'm running low on two by four bricks. 
I haven't ran out. It's more that I need to take apart more stuff from previous mocks. So, for example, this is all the 2x4 bricks that I have left. And um, here's a great example of, like, this is a wall from Kashyyyk. Throwbacks, everybody. Um, this needs to be taken apart so I could, you know, basically finish up uh, on here. You know, believe it or not, this actually needs quite a few bricks. So I just need to take those apart. But there's also a few other reasons. Uh, so, first off, you'll see that I haven't fully you know, supported this window area, mainly because I want to be able to take it off because I'm not sure, you know, there's going to be another wall right here where, where my hand is because we're going to have this, you know, interior side and there's going to be a big uh, wall right here. And I'm not sure what this is going to be. So basically what I'm trying to say is that there's going to be a wall here that I want to connect in. And if I, you know, top off over here, that prevents me from taking this off, which I can connect this wall in. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but basically if I finish it off, I can't connect this last wall and it won't look as great, if that makes any sense. There's also this issue where there's this area right here where you can kind of see in where, um, you know, you, you could see on the other side right there, it's covered specifically uh, right there. You can see that that's what it looks like on the other side. But on this side, you can obviously see inwards and through it. So that's another thing I'm kind of iffy on. Kind of want to hear your feedback. You know, is that something I need to cover up or not on the side of the panel? We'll call it the triangle. Do I need to put another triangle on the other side? Le let me know down in the comments. I feel like that's a no because this, you know, this mock is not going to be going to conventions. So really needing to do that is not a big deal because uh, we're going to have so much other things on the interior side over here that it's, you know, not super important. But let's get those views in, guys. Let's just take that in. We have perfect symmetry now. <laughs> now that we have the other window done, it is symmetrical on both sides, and I absolutely love the way it looks. Ugh, just take that in. Looks so amazing. I uh, really love what we did with the balcony last week. But yeah, so a couple things that are preventing me from finishing off the top. I apologize so much, guys. I really did want to get that done, but I'm really, I don't want to lock myself out to like what we're going to be doing on those other sides for the interior. So we're going to have to wait probably till next week and we'll pick that up and then we'll finally get that top done. I really apologize. Um, again, let me know your thoughts on where I'm at and you know what, what should and shouldn't be done down in the comments below. Let's go ahead and end it out right now guys all right so what did you think guys we have perfect symmetry now that that final window is done it looks so good i apologize for not doing that top layer again i'm just worried about locking myself off with building those other walls on the side and what we're going to be doing with the um, interior i just don't want to lock that off yet because i really want to be able to connect everything into those walls because they're such a big part of the structure and uh, basically if i don't connect them in you'll end up with these little tiny gaps and there's a giant window behind mandalore so if i ever open that window up you would get like this light leak coming through the bricks if you don't connect them properly. So that's kind of like the underlying issue. It's a minor thing, but for someone who builds mocks like I do, the minute, minute details really do matter. So I try to focus in on a couple different things that probably a lot of people don't really care about, but it does to me. So I apologize for that. I, I did want to get that top layer on. I just don't want to lock myself off with that. As I was talking about in the beginning of the video, you know, Star Wars Clone Wars Season 7 is coming up really quickly. We're a month away. We still haven't gotten a specific date yet. Um, but once that does come out, it will definitely influence what we're going to be doing on the interior. Next week, I'll start to unveil my plans for the interior of Mandalore. You know, obviously, we've been working on exterior pretty much the entire time up until this point. The only thing interior-wise we've done is that, you know, whole doorway, which is actually very popular. So glad to see that had a good response. But... Yeah, I have some ideas for the interior. It's a little tricky because it's a narrow and tall space. So got to figure out, you know, how to how to deal with that. I'm kind of debating on still doing the Duchess Palace. I know I was talking about that in the very beginning of Mandalore. We go back to week one in my in my plans. I was talking about doing that. I was also talking about doing like hangers and stuff. It's tricky because the space is just so narrow, but so tall. And a lot of the vehicles for a hangar are like very wide. So I'm still trying to figure that out and how that could work. But again, next week I'll have an update for you guys. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. But yeah, 
So happy we're already in 2020. We're probably less than two months now from completing the mock and less Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7, like something happens in that that I absolutely need to, you know, create in the mock, then that might extend it out to March, but I'm still planning on getting it done probably around February, beginning of March. But, you know, we're, we're in the final run now. We're 80 to 90% of completing the mock, so I'm so glad we're this far. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next week. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day. Bye-bye.